hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for all this stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified when i drop updates on Rada mohan Kaveri receives pizza and learns that mohan ordered it and tells mohan that she thought he kept fasting for damine he tells he thinks he doesn't believe in all this if that was the case then Tusi would have been alive that no one can stop one's death she agrees with him and cries saying she also lost her husband he tells good people die soon so she needs not to worry and asks her to eat pizza with him rather wonders if she should wash her hands or not because if she washes then it will be a bad omen for mohan gungun calls and asks if she she was crying in the washroom rather lies to her that she did not cry gungun says rather can't lie and leaves for school Mohan lets this to eat pizza. Tusi's spirit smiles, saying that he asks rather to eat pizza with him. She tells she stopped going from eating pizza and says pizza does not taste good, that she has work to do and leaves from there. He follows and asks her to eat special pizza, sleeps and drops the pizza box, and the pizza falls on Kavari's head. <laughs> the, he holds Radha when she's about to fall while holding him. He drops Radha and apologizes to Kavari. He says Radha has. Is acting like she kept fasting and leaves from there. Kaveri and Damini hears everything. Kaveri tells Damini she's sure Radha kept fasting for Mohan. Damini tells she has to finish Radha's game too. If she kept fasting for Mohan, then Mohan asks Tusi to not misunderstand that he kept fasting for her. Radha brings food for him and feels dizzy because of weakness and leaves the room. Mohan is about to eat and recalls the moment he shared with Tusi. He's not able to eat and gets annoyed. Damini forces Radha to eat. Radha tells she feels like vomiting so she will take rest. Damini asks if she is fasting. Radha tells she would eat later. Damini tells she knows she's lying and asks her to prove that she did not fa keep fast. Damini asks Radha to promise on God to prove that she did not keep fasting. Radha does promise on God and says she did not keep fast and leaves from there. Kaveri says Radha would not fake promise on God, so it's true that Radha did not fast. Damini wonders why Radha did not eat if she did not keep fasting. Radha tells God she did sin by doing fake promise on him and promise and apologizes to him. Damini and Kaveri hears everything. Kaveri says Radha is such a liar. Damini tells today she saw Radha's real face and asks how dare Radha keep fast for Mohan. She says Radha wants to snatch Mohan from her, that she lost Mohan once because of Tulsi, but she won't lose him again because of Radha. And today she would throw both Tulsi's spirit and Radha out of the house. Kaveri asks what she's planning. Damini asks her to follow the instruction. They don't have much time and says Tulsi's family must be in Mohan's room. So Mohan recalls how he kept fasting for Tusi and Tusi puts the wet towel on his stomach so he does not feel hungry. He notices the wet towel beside him and puts it on his stomach. Radha sees that and says Mohan still loves Tusi so much and kept fasting for her. Kaveri and Damini sees Radha and gets angry. Damini tells Kaveri that she was blind to not see Radha's love for Mohan. Kaveri reminds her that she already warned her about Radha. Damini asks her to do her work. Kaveri leaves from there. Damini asks Radha what she is doing outside Mohan's room and notices Mohan's bed is wet and asks Mohan about it. Radha lies to her that she dropped the wet glass by mistake. Damini moves aside to talk on a call. Mohan asks Radha why she lied to Damini. She tells Damini would have been hurt if she got to know he kept fasting for Tulsi. Then that's why she lied. He tells he did not keep fast. Ajit asks Ketki to eat something if she's not able to continue the fasting till. She tells she has to prove the, to Kandabali that she can keep fasting. Kadveri steals Ketki's bangle and then Rahul's paws steals the necklace which Kadambari kept to give to Damini and keeps all in Radha's bag. Damini asks Radha to forward her hand. Radha hopes Damini does not see her mendy and forward her hand. Damini gives broomstick to her and asks her to clean Mohan's room. Tusi Spirit thinks Damini is planning to do something for sure. Kaveri hides Radha's bag. Kadambari says they have to leave for temple. Damini thinks she can't go out. She acts like feeling dizzy. Kadambari asks her to take rest. Kaveri says she will stay with Damini. Others leave for the temple. Gungun enters the house. Damini asks Kaveri to stay with Gungun so Tusi Spirit stays around them. And using that chance, she would find Tusi's family from Muhan's room and leave from there. Kaveri tells Gungun she was waiting for her to play. She informs her that others left for temple. She takes Gungun to her room. Tusi Spirit wonders what happened to Kaveri today. Damini forcefully sees Brother's hand. Damini notices bandage on Brother's palm and asks about it. Brother tells she got hot while cleaning the room. Damini tells 
how to clean the room well and notices brother's feeling dizzy and tells she knows she kept fasting that's why she's feeling dizzy Lada lies to her again Gungun asks Kaveri why she's suddenly behaving sweet with her Kaveri tells she's going to become her grandma and she loved her since beginning that she has right to play with Gungun Gungun decides to teach a lesson to Kaveri ties black clothes on her eyes and asks her to count from 1 to 50 and find her Kaveri tries to catch Gungun Gungun troubles her Tosi spirit thinks she can't leave them alone Meanwhile, Damini searches Tosi's family in Moha's room. Brother cleans the room. Mohan comes there and asks what they are doing. Damini tells they are cleaning the room. Brother asks him to join them to forget about his hunger. Damini asks Mohan if he's fasting. He lies to her that he ate tries already since morning. Brother notices Mohan's expensive watches and tells these are glory. Gets shocked when Damini said about the price of those watches and says her father would be taking rest if he had that much money then. Damini notices Tosi and Mohan's photo and thinks Tosi's family must be in the photo frame only. Mohan says he's going to Shekhar's house and leaves from there. Damini asks Rada to take Tosi and Mohan's picture and clean it. Rada takes the photo and cleans it. Damini notices Tosi's family box inside the photo frame. Tosi's family box drops on the floor. Tosi's spirit feels something and recalls how she put her vermilion box inside the photo frame. Damini messages Kaveri, stating she found Tosi's vermilion and Tosi's spirit must have sensed it, so Kaveri has to stay with Gungun for a few more minutes. Kaveri wonders what all this she has to do for Damini and tells Gungun she won't leave her and tries to hit her. Tosi's spirit gets angry seeing, her and seeing that she attacks Kaveri and she screams. Damini puts Tosi's vermilion box with trash and asks Rada to put the garbage bag outside the house. Rada takes the garbage and moves towards the door. Damini says in few minutes she will throw Rada out of the house too. Kaveri apologizes to Tosi Spirit. Gungun gets confused with Kaveri's behavior. Tosi Spirit feels weak and understands that someone took a vermilion. Rada and Damini notice the change in the atmosphere of the house. Tosi Spirit says she would be thrown out of the house if a vermilion went outside the house. She pleads Rada to not go outside. Rada goes outside.